Libras, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be looking at your energies for the month of August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. In this video, I'll be looking at your reading in every week basis, okay? So we will be seeing uh, first week, second week, third week and fourth week energies for the month of August for you. Okay, so we will be seeing how or what kind of energies you are attracting towards yourself in this month and what kind of guidance you might be requiring in this month okay so whatever the energies will be coming up i'll be explaining all to you whether it's love whether it's some other general reading whatever it is okay we will be looking all the energies so as you all know that this is going to be a general reading it may or may not resonate with all of you take what resonates and leave the rest okay let's see i really love the first card which just popped up for you okay okay i'll be needing four more cards as the clarifiers please So at the back of the deck, we have the chariot for you for the whole month. Okay, so this is like your overall energy for the month. The chariot explains us about how successful you want to be. Maybe you're working or your energies are quite of, you know, action oriented in this month. Maybe you have plans and you are going to put those plans into actions in this month. So this is this card always tells us because it's chariot it's cancer energy you could be dealing with a cancerian but um, it is possible that you are uh, you are in that moving on zone of your life okay gemini's so it is possible that uh, you keep on moving on you try to just want yourself to to get success in life and not to look back in life anymore. Chariot is speed, chariot is vehicle energy. You could be traveling as well the whole month, maybe on business trips or uh, vacations or some places where you wanted to go from a long period of time. So it tells us about a lot of travel, maybe just up and down um, in your work life daily basis, okay? But it is a very action oriented month. That is what is coming up. You could be buying a new vehicle in this month and uh, could be two wheeler, four wheeler, whatever is comfortable for you. But uh, chariot tells us about that. I'm also getting some horse riding energies. Maybe you want to go for some or you want to learn horse riding for some of you. Yeah. So it's, it's public recognition as well. So people would be knowing you because you are on that action oriented zone. So people would be knowing you more in this month. Maybe you are a person who is good in the eye catch. Maybe you have a very eye catching face or your work involves that thing where people recognize you with your work and uh, a lot of people, a lot of clients you are gaining in this month. Okay. All right. So the first week is about is the three of wands energy along with the 10 of pentacles. This is a very, very beautiful week of the month. Your week is starting with a very beautiful energy, honestly. With the three of wands and the 10 of pentacles, this shows an opportunity is coming your way. Okay. Which involves financial success. Maybe you are... Um, maybe it's uh, about some opportunity in terms of your work career thing but uh, it is it is bringing a lot of financial success prosperity and uh, abundance to you so the first week is very important so whatever decisions whatever choices you are going to take in the first week just take those choices in a very practical manner because uh, because 10 of pentacles is the coin energy is the pentacles energy earth energy which tells us about the practicality of a situation okay so the more practical you will take your decisions in the first week it will really help you rather than being emotional so the emotions i'm not able to see in the first week it's more about your fire passion vacations so all these things are coming up for you okay 
I love, I love this analogy. Yeah. Okay. So the second week is the moon along with the king of cups. I'm seeing emotions coming up because the moon is a strong Pisces energy, Pisces and Cancer energy. Uh, the moon along with the king of cups both are water water energies okay so strong heavy emotions are flowing on in the second week maybe there is some emotional drama at home maybe you are dealing with somebody who is suffering from some situation some problem and you are emotionally involved with that person a father figure is also seen here so you can uh, just uh, check up with your father in the second week or maybe you are going on and you are meeting somebody who who you really call like a father figure okay you are talking to a person with whom you are emotionally involved uh, moon also tells us about anxiety depressions a lot of overthinking as well because of so much of strong emotions in the second week it is possible that um, your emotions you know because you work really hard Okay, and you work, 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 keep on, you know, you love to get a lot of action oriented things. You want to be busy and when something like even for one day, if you are sitting alone at home, you are not like a Cancer or a Pisces or a Capricorn who really loves their me time. So Gemini is more about actions. Gemini loves to talk to people. Gemini loves to be around people or do or something creative or doing something or the other thing. Okay, so it is telling us about uh, how you could be fe feeling that uh, you are not working or you could be sitting at home even for one day or so. Uh, you will be feeling that no, you know, it's um, something is there. You, just, you might start overthinking. So you have to be away. If you feel that you are at home and you are not doing anything, try to get some work. Okay, maybe take some co-workers work if they have some extra work or talk to some friends go out just alone if you want to go out if not try to find some friends of yourself and uh, yeah you have to be busy uh, do not let emotions guide your way because uh, that might end up in too much of overthinking the third week is the two of cups along with the two of wands. I am seeing more success, more love energies coming up for you in the, in the third week as well. Um, maybe um, it, it's, it's showing a kind of date going abroad or going abroad or just um, traveling because you know we have three of wands we have two of wands we have the chariot in your reading it's a lot of travel so you are going on a date with a with a loved one maybe you are going even you are traveling to different place with your loved one you are traveling to meet your loved one in different city country anything but travel is there a lot of travel i'm seeing here so that is the reason why sitting at home can make you uh, overthink about certain situations so if you even have a bad fight in the second week which are just uh, the moon and the king of cups energy even if you had have a bad fight or just uh, an argument with your loved one so try to just fix it in that week because you are fixing it and that's why i'm seeing it in the third week that you are again it's okay it's over and again you are back in track so a lot of emotions a lot of fire energy a lot of passion energies are seen in your third week so you are dealing situations passionately and emotionally it's coming up as very good try to let emotions guide your way in the third week because uh, they will really help you because it's it's with the cups and the fire energies are here so that's why and um, yeah in fact you can even talk to a friend or talk to your uh, person talk to your partner talk to a family member about a situation if you are in something if you have two decisions if you have two choices and you have to take a decision in between two choices you can even ask somebody to help you a person who is very emotionally involved with you that person or those people can really help you find the answer if, if you have if you come ac across any such choice or any such decision making okay the fourth week is the five of cups and the dreamer and just for your information, um, if this doesn't go by weekly energy for you, it can happen anytime in this in this month. Okay, so you just have to guide the, you just have to take the guidance 
from the universe which i am able to provide you from the tarot okay so five of cups along with the dreamer energy dreamer is the fool card of the deck um so your emotions are coming up as you know maybe some kind of a decision making have might might go wrong so that's why i am telling you earlier only that any such kind of a situation happens where you are not able to take a decision you should definitely take some help take some guidance from the people who really mean a lot to you because they will really help you or they will really guide you in a perfect manner so that there are no regrets in the future there are regrets seen in the fourth fourth week there are some some things maybe you have might have lost some opportunity and then you are regretting it in the first week the opportunity is coming up towards you so whether you are able to take that opportunity or not that is up to you see we can only tell you that opportunities are coming your way okay something is coming your way but whether you are able to grab that opportunity or not that is in your hands okay so maybe there is a possibility for some of you that you are not able to take that opportunity and then you are regretting it in later uh, in later days of this month so that's why just uh, take that opportunity let the risk sink okay sometimes you have to take some risk in life to achieve something much better so this risk is worth taken okay yeah so i think anything else uh, i don't think so a new start coming up so yeah for those people who are starting something new it's it's a very beautiful month for you try to just uh, you know let go of the fears which might surround you to start something new let the fears go away because fears will definitely come if you are starting something new if you want to even a relationship also you might be thinking that you know whether this relationship will last forever or not nobody knows that whether it will last forever but at least you should definitely go for it you know you might be wasting that time that precious time you both can be having together so it's worth taking the risk all right so yeah that's all from my side my dear gemini i hope that helps and we will meet you in the next video till then bye